All right, so this is gonna be basically a test flight with the new Pixhawk installed. And it's pretty much all set up, so let's see if it's gonna fly. Uh, those are 12 inch props. I'm, I think 12 inch is too much for this system, honestly. Uh, this cable is kind of loose here. Let me, let me. Basically, I'm just gonna show you that everything is supposed to fly. So yeah, I've been flying with those 12 inches. And I think they're overkill uh, either for those motors or just uh, a season too weak for, for them to, ha to be handled, to handle them well. So the, the props I had prior to that, 11 inch. So this is 12 inch by, uh, by 4.5. I believe I had 11 inch by 4.5. And with those, it was flying much better, much more responsive, and for much longer time. Okay. So, let's see. We power up. Well, first, the battery is not as secure as I want it to be. Okay. Okay. So the battery is being held in place by the rubber band and I got so it's not going anywhere. So we power it up like that. Let's see. Hope you can see it. All right, uh, more light. Welcome to OpenTX. Alright, so what we want to do right away is uh, rotate the... So that's what it currently sees. So what we want to do is we want to lift up the, the GoPro like that. Like that. Like that. For some reason the the gimbal goes towards the bottom every time we power it up. So if anybody knows the solution for it, let me know. Okay. All right. So we have to fly indoors because outside of the house is the airport. So I can't really, so I can't really legally fly there. So. Okay. So exit. Let's hope it's all gonna fly. So, yeah. Ready for takeoff? Let me change the orientation because it's facing me right now. And I want to take off facing that way. It's much more easier for me to fly. I just want to make sure that the forward is forward and back is back. Okay, so let's power it up one more time. Yeah. 
So I was tasting the left and right um, and back to be working correctly. <laughs> Oh crap. <laughs> All right. Let's see. The whole thing needs to be balanced a bit. And the legs probably need to be a bit more um, wider spread. Anyways, there is too much prop wash here, so I'm being blown away. But yeah, the system flies. Uh, um, should be flying fine. Well, let's see if I'm gonna crash it. All right, that's enough. So that's how you build the most advanced um, S500 drone. I think um, amps. Uh, the ESCs should be like 30 amps, not uh, what I installed here. Okay, let me shut down the guy. Shut down the All right. Disconnect the rear of the battery. So yeah, the ones I put here are 20 amps. I'm pretty sure you need to go with at least 25 amps. Um, because I had only 20 amps in stock, that's the ones I put. So the system is capable of 12 inch for sure. Um, you can probably put 13 inch here, but uh, even with 12 inches it's not that great. I mean, you should do 11 inches or so. But I mean, yeah, the system flies. Uh, once the weather gonna be much better, I mean, we have uh, Winter outside, you see, snow on the ground, so we can't really fly anything right now. So, yeah. So the system is all set. Uh, just, uh, just basically power up the, um, just, yeah, plug in the power and you're ready to fly. Uh, make sure the kill switch is on. So. I guess that's the final video for, for this drone. Uh, I'm, I gathered all the parts for the next build. And the next build is going to be something epic. And uh, something epic uh, meaning uh, it's going to have four motors on the top, four motors on the bottom. It's going to be bigger frame, bigger props, bigger engines, uh, bigger battery. It's not going to be 4S, it's not going to be 3S, it's going to be 6S. And uh, everything is going to be um, much, much, much bigger. So watch my other videos. And thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, please. Thanks so much.